Hey everybody, welcome to project two. We are going to be working on our rocks today and we're just gonna basically start with getting a texture, right? Um, so a texture is basically like an image that you can project onto your 3D objects that you are going to be making in Rhino, right? But we are gonna open up Illustrator Right, so go ahead and start a new Illustrator file like I have. I have made this artboard a five inch by five inch square. And what we wanna do is if you go ahead and go to our Carmen page, right? We have our Carmen page right here. If you go to files, project two, rock and unroll. And underneath this is the seamless textures. This is a list of textures that basically we're going to use to generate the textures for our rocks, right? So I picked just for the sake of example, this mountain rock seamless texture. You don't have to use that one. You can use any of these, um, but go ahead and click on it and hit download. And then it'll show up wherever you decide to save it. So for me, it goes into my downloads. And then in Illustrator, we're gonna go File, Place, Mountain Rock Texture, Place. Uh, go ahead and just place it in here. And what we wanna do is we want to align this to our artboard perfectly so that there's no seamless, uh, there's no seam. We want it to be seamless, right? So we can't see the artboard underneath it. Uh, you should have snap settings. And what you do is if you go ahead and grab the corner um, and drag, it moves like this. But if you hold shift, it will keep that, uh, it will keep its scale. So its proportions will not distort that way. That being said, what we are going to do is take this image and we are going to go to object image trace you have to have it selected that's my bad image trace make and so what this does is this gives you some uh options and, and image trace is basically um generating shapes and line work from like a JPEG or a PNG that you would import. So go over to your side over here um, and you should have an image trace drop down. And we just want to do six colors, but these are different. Um, these are basically different settings that allow you to draw different things out of an image. Uh, I recommend like take a selfie, throw it in Illustrator and image trace it and play around with the settings. Um, you'll get some like really interesting, fun results, uh, kind of like a, a cartoon or caricature of yourself can be abstracted from this. But basically what I've done is I've taken the image, which again, I can actually place it in here just as a side-by-side -side comparison. So let's drop this in here. You can see, I'm gonna shrink this down just so you can see comparison here one of these is very much an image while the other is this abstracted um, series of shapes and lines that make up a similar thing to that image and because i i clicked the six color setting um, it has basically rendered this thing into six different colors so you can see it's actually it loses some detail but it, this is just a really nice graphical texture that we can then start to play with and use. So then just to finish setting this up, what I would like to do is go ahead and take this. We can go ahead and delete this. We don't need it. Make sure you're not moving this off your artboard. Go ahead and click it and hit expand and then ungroup here on the right side. Um, all of your properties should be on the right side. If for some reason they are not, um, if you go up right near like your X and your minimization tools, right here is called Switch Workspace. This, I work in Essentials. Um, this gives me 
what I like up here with my uh, command set. And over here on the left is like my tools, but I can also like add tools by clicking on the edit toolbar button. I can add these tools to this. Uh, a lot of people like to work in Essentials Classic. Yours might be in Essentials Classic, but that actually doesn't really change our workspace as much. This might be what the default is in Knowlton. Um, I digress. It really does not matter. It's just your personal preference, but that's in, in case you just don't have a workspace that looks exactly like mine. That's where to find stuff. This should all still be over here. We have just ungrouped this. So each individual uh, uh, shape is now its own thing, right? So I've made six colors and I want to separate the colors by layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and make six layers, right? I'm going to select this. Uh, we'll start with this and then I can go to select same appearance, go ahead and grab it. Selects everything that looks like it. Uh, and that is both stroke, weight and sh and a shade of color. And so I can go ahead and grab this dot and drag. I'm holding my right, um, I'm sorry, I'm holding my left mouse and I'm dragging and then I let go and I put it on that later and then I can just hide it. So it goes away. I can grab another one and do the same thing. Select same appearance. Go ahead, drag this up to this purple layer. Go ahead and hide it. Grab this. Select, oh, I'm sorry, up here. Select same appearance. Drag this up to four and then hide it. Here we go, select, same, appearance. Drag this up to three, hide that layer. Grab this, select, same, appearance. On layer two, hide it, and then hide your last layer just to see. All right, we put everything on their own layers. And basically this is good to go. What you can do uh, is eventually we're going to start to edit this. So you can like grab a whole layer um, and you can like maybe add like a splotch of color to it. Um, it starts to give you like an interesting pattern, right? Or you can, um, I almost, we're not going to play with this yet, but even just to give you an example, we can grab like this and maybe add like a cool yellow tone to it. Like that's pretty interesting. That is a, we can start to get some really fun, unique patterns based off this. But like I said, we just wanted to start by getting it set up, prepped, and we can do that now. Go to File, Export as JPEG. Go ahead and save it wherever you want. Um, I will put it in my Project 2 content. Click Use Artboards because it will grab that artboard and go ahead and name it texture one and click export. It's gonna pull up this. Uh, your, your default, depending on what you've done, maybe CMYK, make sure it's RGB. So CMYK is for print media and printing as opposed to RGB is for screens, renders, digital stuff. Go ahead and max this out to 10 and keep this medium and that clicked and we are good to go. All right, so go ahead, pick a texture, run through it with that and you're good to go. That's your texture. Next video, you're gonna see how to make our rocks. So let's dive into it. Keep up the great work guys.